My really cool stuff from the Telegraph here. Umbilical cord blood from babies could help bring back memory for dementia patients. Dementia patients have been offered hope that their memory could be repaired after scientists showed that injecting blood from the umbilical cords of human babies restores brain function. So there you go. When these guys do those rituals where they suck the blood from babies and do all that, that gross stuff, you know, it's besides them, I'm sure, getting off on how gross it is and the fear factor and all of that stuff, but it's also, I guess, to help get their memory back because that's what this whole game is, man. We are in a worldwide lost and found. That's what we're doing. We're playing that game. We're Sleeping Beauty, and the object of the game is for Arnold Schwarzenegger, get to the chopper, total recall. That's what we want. And this gives a whole new meaning to the Bible verses. You know, like uh, what, John 14, 26? But the Comforter, who is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. That's why they say the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from sin. Because it makes us remember who we are, which would make us want to be better people, which would make us more Jesus Christ-like of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth Christ-like. That's what we're after. And if you have this water memory, right? Water memory is the purported ability of water to retain a memory of substances previously dissolved in it, even after an arbitrary number of serial dilutions. Water memory defies conventional scientific understanding of physical chemistry, chemistry knowledge and is not accepted by the scientific community. Who, why would I care if it's accepted or not? Well, that's completely irrelevant of whether or not it's true, isn't it? Who cares? So if water potentially and does have memory, then what's to say that blood doesn't? And remember, even the whole story of creation, we were breathed into life. It's, it's, not, it's not the blood per se, it's what's in the blood. And there's oxygen in blood, but that stuff, I think, is bad. It rots us from the inside out. But there's something else in there, I think. That's why these vampires, that's why it's so important. That's why it's the red carpet. It's your sacrificial blood. It's what's required to run this blood machine that runs this place. It's what's in the blood, though, I think. And that's what apparently helps us remember. And we talk about duality and the pillars and the red and blue. That's what the circul circulatory system is, red and blue. I mean, it's right there. It's in our own makeup, man. And I'm not so sure these guys, these, these seeker societies are, you know, some of them may be, but I'm not sure all of them are human. If you believe, if you made them bleed behind closed doors, they probably really would bleed blue blood like the whole, you know, blue bloods family stuff. And ours bleeds red, I think, because of magnetism and this, this firmament or energy field affects us differently than them. But I, I mean, I don't have any proof of that. I don't know. That's just a hunch. But, yeah, so what's in the blood, really important. I think it helps us remember, and here you go. Here's science saying that it helps your memory, and we're here to get our memory back and become better people and help each other, and which helps ourselves and vice versa. And like uh, Michael Jackson said in The Man in the Mirror, you know, if you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make the change. So there you go. Thanks to my subscribers.